in this lecture we are going to talk about the Talkman team development model, which is also known as Talkman Ladder. This model talks about the five different stages in which a team is formed and team starts working in a project. The first stage is forming, second is storming, the third stage is norming, fourth stage is performing, and the fifth stage is the adjourning. In some of the books, you may see that there are four stages of the team development. Uh, they generally talk up to the performing phase. Nevertheless, uh, there is also the adjourning phase. So what are these phases? Let us study in detail. In the first stage, the team members come together and they talk about different projects and their opportunities, roles and responsibilities. So this is generally a initial phase where different members come together, but they are not sure about how to perform or how to run the project smoothly, etc. They are generally coming together to do or to start a project. In the second stage, the team members start doing the project works and they start uh, gradually to take the decisions or manage the project and as they have just started the project there may be chances that there might be some hostility or confusions in the project and the hostility in, and confusions generally happen if the project members are not trained on the project management and also if their roles and responsibilities are not defined well in the forming stage or the stage one then there is a third stage which we call as the norming stage. Here, the team members work together and adjust their habit to support the team. In the stage two, what we see is people are just headed towards doing the project. They have just completed the stage one and the team members do not know each other well. So they are not used to the habits of one or more of the team members and it takes time for them to adjust to the habit of their team members, adjust to the thinking, adjust to the working pattern, etc. So coming to the norming stage, start to work together and adjust to the habit. Then as the team members reach the stage four, they become interdependent and they start working as an organized team. So they learn how to work organizedly and they reach each other for help. They reach each other to discard their confusions and there is a sense of togetherness in the stage 4 or the performing phase. In the adjoining phase, the team finally completes the work. So the Talkman team development model talks about the human psychological transformation as the project is progressing. This is not exactly the tool of project management, but uh, you can have a picture of how things normally go when a new project is started. So this is all about the Talkman team development model.